Welcome to Driving and Vibing. What's the vibe today? I want to talk about how to stay motivated in anything forever, okay? And a lot of this has to do with perception. I am a wellness coach, so if uh, wellness coaching is kind of coaching people through habit change, um, you know, getting the best healthy self version of yourself, like helping you find the best healthy. Anyways, I, I'm at such a lack of sleep today. I'm, uh, it's not a lack of sleep. My recovery was bad. So anyways, I'm a wellness coach, okay? And I coach people through this. And a lot of times what happens is um, we go through, we go through, I prompt my clients to, you know, give me information about their past and what they've done and stuff or in part of their, their wellness journey and things that they have done. And they say this and that, but they stopped and they always look at the fact that they went through part of this journey, but then they stopped. They look at that as a full, like a, a failure point. Like they, they, they didn't succeed there. And this is, I mean, <clears throat> failure is relative. So an example is clients will say that they, they've had bouts of going to the gym where they go for about a month and they do great, they feel great and they love, they actually enjoy going to it, but something, some life changes happens and then they stop going to the gym. Now, this is where, this is what's very important. They look at that as a failure, okay? As what well, I stopped going to the gym, I didn't succeed that time. That's, you know, okay, whatever. If you, but here's, here's, here's what's very, very, very important. Keep this in mind. Perception is everything. What I tell clients is that you went to the gym for a month, you said you felt good, you enjoyed going to the gym, Okay, and you actually enjoyed the act of doing it. That all of those aspects are a success. You went for for a full month straight. That is a success. Stuff happens. Life happens. This happens. People have setbacks. That is part of life. But you push forward. So you have. You may not have continued that bout of exercise and going to the gym. That specific one. But you had a lot of point of points of success there. The success of going continuously going. The success of actually enjoying going to the gym, the success of, you know, enjoying, uh, you know, feeling good, right? Lots, lots of different, it's all perception, it's all mindset. And this is how, this you can apply to absolutely anything in life, including gaming. And this will push your motivation, keep you motivated instead of getting, feel, getting that feeling of burnout or that lack of motivation. You can use it in gaming as well. Like if you lose, if you're playing a competitive match, if you're a competitive gamer, this happened to me too, where I would look at the loss as a, as a straight loss. But there was things in the game, let's say I was, I used to play Counter-Strike. I still play Counter-Strike, but I was, I competed heavily in Counter-Strike. If I lost a match in the past, I used to, before I learned this whole mindset, I used to think that it's like, that's it. The match is over. That was a, that was a failed game. Okay. But that's not necessarily true. There were things that our team would do well, and we could have, we could have really focused on that and use that to better our future in gaming. There are things that I would have done well, and I know I've done well, and very seldom did I focus on that, but I was focusing on the negative. And had I focused on the positive, my motivation to push forward and really use those those six, those little successes in the quote unquote failure, and use that to push myself further into my gaming career would have been just perfect, would have been perfect. Perfect is also a relative term, but for me, it would have been great. Like I, I would have really pushed my gaming career further. And again, motivation and to be able to remain motivated and past experiences, the past experiences and is like very important to understand the perception and change perception around it. If you like what I heard in this video, let me know in the, uh, you know, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments. Wow, I'm tired. Hit that subscribe button for more content like this and I hope to see everybody in the next video. Later dreamers.